Uh, severe weather that's happening not just in Louisiana but across yes. the country. No, it's an active system. We really got a, kind of a weekend of this line of right. storms with far more activity across the Ohio Valley and parts of the Midwest. We just had that one brief tornado warning. Otherwise, it was more of a strong wind okay. issue, especially yeah. on the North Shore, and those have now settled. Tomorrow will be much quieter. In fact, our rain chances tomorrow at about 20%. Rainfall is moving on. Now, there is a little complex of storms over near Houston that model kind of split with some of them do bring it across more southeast Louisiana. Others kind of have it moving a little bit more toward the Alexandria area and then weakening. We'll show you the models coming up in just a second, but we'll be watching that little next area at the moment. Kind of another big flare for thunderstorms, but what had been around southeast Louisiana gone. Now here's what our high resolution model is saying. Now it's not really doing a great job because the line of storms are already down along the coastline and we are drying up. But note this little complex of storms as it moves toward Lake Charles, it kind of falls apart part between Lafayette and Alexandria. There's another uh, model that kind of brings those storms maybe here later tonight. We will see and we'll be watching that over the next several hours, but tomorrow it definitely looks drier. Maybe a few light sprinkles here and there. So I think our Irish Channel Parade will be just fine. As we head into Sunday, though, different story. We'll have the front parked right over us and an upper disturbance to begin bringing in the storms probably right before dawn, and they will be with us through the morning and afternoon or early afternoon. Models do indicate we might see them coming to an end, maybe around three o'clock or so. I'll show you another model in just a moment. Here's some of the rainfall totals we saw. Obviously, some of our greatest totals on the North Shore. We had almost an inch and a half at Slidell, at 0 .6, uh, 6, 3 inches at Lakefront, quarter of an inch of rainfall at Bell Chase, and not quite as much over in Kenner. Today's high, we got up to 81 degrees before the rain moved in, and our low for the day was 66. Not very low, but notice when it happened. 224. That was rain cooled air and all locations saw a big temperature drop when those showers and storms started rolling on through high humidity, but temperatures and dew points have dropped because of that rainfall. We went from the 70s with our dew points into the 60s and temperatures went from the 80s into the 60s and all of us in the 60s right now. Probably will see temperatures kind of hang steady through the rest of the evening as the dew points are going to prevent them from getting much lower through the night. And in fact, we might see them kind of increase as our dew point forecast through the night and going into tomorrow. If you do plan to go to the Irish Channel Parade while drier, it will be warm and muggy, but I think temperatures may stay in the 70s during the day, but right at 79 degrees or so. So we'll remain muggy through the weekend, but our front is on the way and a big drop in not only temperatures, but also humidity. Winds had picked up and still breezy at some locations with the rainfall, but they will be settling down through the rest of the night. But also notice our wind direction out of the north, which did help to lower the humidity very slightly upper disturbance. This is actually going to remain parked out west through early next week, finally not moving to the east of us until maybe Thursday and into next Friday. So that system is going to stay right where it is. And what that does is it allows for that southwesterly flow to continue. We had that upper energy, which is what sparked the storms around us. And again, moving over Texas or moving over southeastern Texas right now. We'll be watching that little complex of storms because here's what this model does. It actually kind of keeps it a little bit healthier and keeps it right near the coastline. So it's possible that some of those storms may impact our area late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Again, the model is very much split on that next little complex of storms, but we will stay dry through the day on Saturday, mostly dry. This model even bringing in a few spotty showers, which is why I'm keeping our rain chances tomorrow 20-30%. High res model says nothing. This one says maybe some showers, but they're both in agreement. Rainfall will begin early on Sunday and likely with this through the morning and early afternoon after the noon hour, most of the rainfall starting move to move on. So it looks like it may be kind of a very wet start to our day on Sunday and then by the afternoon and evening starting to settle down with our front finally pushing south with that surge of cooler, less humid and breezy conditions moving in for Monday during the day and for Tuesday and Wednesday. In fact, by next Tuesday morning, we could see a little bit of patchy frost, especially farther to the north. High temperatures next week will stay in the 60s, at least to begin the week and fairly pleasant weather through Wednesday. Another chance of rain on Thursday. That upper low that is out west will finally start moving eastward. That'll trigger the better rain chance on Thursday and then we dry out again next Friday.